Britt from the Russ Power Morning Show here to tell you about, yes, another Kevin Hart movie. He's making a lot of money, right? Well, anyway, him and Josh Gad got together and made this new movie called The Wedding Ringer. It's due out in January, but why listen to me talk about it? Let's ask them. Russ Power Morning Show, how are you guys doing? Wonderful, how are you? So are you still in your Halloween costumes or yeah, this like... Is it. This is it. Because he looks kind of like dressed. Yeah. You're kind of down. This is a woodsman. Yeah. yeah. This is, is it a couple's I, costume? Yeah, he's a woodsman. <laughs> I this am. Is, yeah. I'm literally Wolverine. He left his two by four in the car. <laughs> <laughs> Do you Kevin. remember Hacksaw Jim Duggan? <laughs> Oh. He's a wrestler. Okay. Old wrestler. It's a great reference if you had a guy that would have killed him. Well, I'm going to have to Google that. I'm going to have to Google that. Well, Kevin, we just talked to you about The Real Husbands of Hollywood. Yes. Wait. No, you didn't call us. Oh, wait. What did I that do? That was Nick Cannon. Wasn't oh, Nick. Nick uh, yeah. Was I supposed to call? Yes, you were supposed to call. And oh, Russ got really Russ mad. tell Russ to kiss my ass. <laughs> <laughs> so, you're doing a wedding movie. Mm -hmm. You just got engaged. Mm -hmm. You guys are in the wedding movie together. Mm -hmm. You're 35. Mm -hmm. Are you 35 and ticking? Am I 35 and ticking? That's a movie <laughs> that Russ Parr did. So that's a that's Oh, a I joke. got it. Now I Russ get it. Russ did a movie that I was in called 35, 35 and, and ticking. ticking. But he doesn't give Russ credit for that. Okay. Russ, here's the thing about Russ. Russ is in the top two most <laughs> awful individuals <laughs> that you'll ever meet. But he's a, he's a good friend of mine. He's a radio personality that couldn't even come. So he sent somebody, which is kind of why I told yeah, him. Yeah, it's a bully. It's my ass every chance I get. It's a lot of animosity between, between you and me Russ. And Russ. Yeah, no, no, we fight. On the oh, can you tell? We, we fight on the spot every yeah. time I see it. So The Wedding Ringer. Josh, what is the movie about? I'll oh, start. Kev, you know what? I haven't seen it yet, <laughs> actually. I've been reading good things. Uh, no, it's it's about my wedding and, and the fact that I'm kind of uh, this guy who can't really get a, a groomsman to represent me, so I hired this company to come in and save my ass. And yes. Kevin and these seven guys who are all a bit awkward. I provide a service where I will give you friendship for the right price. I can give you the perception that you want for the right price. So uh, my service for guys who don't have, and those guys come to me. So he doesn't have, he comes to me, and in return, I put him in position to win. And that's what the movie's about. The movie's and about a friendship. And that's that what our real plays. friendship is about. Well, I don't, I don't think there's a real... So do you think that... Like, you know, grooms and in real life, they're going to be reaching out to services like this? Um, I think, actually, this is something that can be very profitable. Yeah. It does exist. It's called, um, it's called escorts. They're, they're <laughs> <laughs> is that, like, the legal version or the... <laughs> That's what this is. There is a service <laughs> like this. It's called prostitution. Yeah. Is what uh, people pay for. Uh, no, this is something I think that could actually win, win a lot of people over. You know, you do have a lot of lonely people out there in the world who want companionship at times. So to get somebody to come and talk would be dope. All right, thank you so much. I'll make sure Russ asks you to do his next movie. Yeah, yeah, and not yeah. Kevin, because Kevin doesn't answer the Kevin phone. Didn't show up. Well, the good thing is the movie will stink. Tell Russ I said The Wedding Ringer. Check it out January. To me, if you want my honest opinion, I really enjoyed it, but it was kind of classical. I mean, if you've seen Hitch, the movie with Will Smith, it was kind of a mixture between that and the Hangover movie, but I like both those movies. So together, it worked for me. Should you go see it? I think yes, but it's not a must-see.